left anything up I feel so weak. I gotta clean out the fridge first. Let's clean out the fridge first. The fridge is cold. You keep saying cold. I feel like my butt's gonna be cold. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hey guys. Hola, como se llama? Say no, no. Say no. You can feel it all over. You can feel it all over. Straight out the jungle. Uh, guys, we've been sick for like a week. Lurry just like. Today is the first day that we got up and we had to go grocery shopping because everything is empty. Where are you eating the canal? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like barks. She shut the fuck up. Who put this in here? Why I put the butter in here? hear him look listen to this motherfucker every day it's fucking eight o'clock it's night time sometimes it'd be fucking ten o'clock and he's still out here parking just like mm. he better not shut up when i walk out here this shit mm. Mm. shut up Every fucking day, every day, all morning, all night. <laughs> Drives me fucking nuts. Drives me bonkers. <laughs> no, Jessica went to um, Tokyo. Tokyo. She's in Japan. Japan. Have you talked to the people? No! Do you eat this? Okay. I've seen them once and I was just like, I don't like talking to neighbors. <laughs> Never been my thing. What? Talking to neighbors. <laughs> I've seen 
the dogs once. You know, I'm a little short, so I can't really see over the fence. So I can only peep through the hole. And he looked like a wolf. Not a husky wolf. Like, he looked like a regular wolf from outside. Tomorrow I'm gonna cook a big dinner for the kids because I haven't cooked in weeks. I was gone for a week in New York and then I haven't cooked for them. So I'll cook tomorrow. Shut up. Come on, Juice, put stuff away. Yeah, no matter. Dog to shut up every fucking day. I know the fuck. I know they hear me. I know the neighbors hear me. I just gotta just shut up. Shut up. Sometimes he'll listen. They listen. These dogs listen over here. These dogs to the right side. When I tell them to shut up, they listen. It's him. He don't fucking listen. to Miami yeah. I go to Miami all the time yeah. I just got my my corn removed in Miami Stop. a couple weeks ago He's still barking. He's still going. I'm like, you're not thirsty. Your throat don't hurt. Your throat not dry. Like, how did you possibly oh. keep fucking barking? body.
the hell? Drop the hammer. Well, this chicken's so little. You want this breast babe? Mm -hmm. No, he want me to cut it off because I'm out of make the soup. They all want soup. If you haven't purchased your knife stand, make sure you go purchase your knife stand. Lovely Mimi the company. This is really good. I eat it while we stretch, eat it. Okay, I'm gonna talk to y'all in one second. Let me finish unloading some cookies and I'm not even showing y'all what we got. Sorry. We got some bueno. We got some mango rings. I mean, pineapple rings. Juice is doing the snacks over here. Um, <clears throat> let's make the broth to our soup. Juice, when you're done with everything, can you use um, the eggs? Let me do the, uh, yeah, babe. yeah. The sugar. I know. There's no winkle on these coats. When I first found out a winkle, I thought, okay, I like the winkle. The meat is cheap and affordable. The produce, with this vegetables produce, they don't got good vegetables and fruit, but they got good meat and snack. Their meat is really good. And their ice cream selection. Why the fuck do they still make sugar and, and, and flowers in these bags? Like these cheap ass paper bags that has holes and should be leaking. I do not understand. Like why? Why is why is sugar and flour still made in these? Like, 
just so annoying. Spoonful of sugar. Help some medicine go down. It's like I don't even want to save this because now I have to put this into a Ziploc or I have to put this in something else. Hey, Brad, saying hi to you, babe. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> I ordered a new, I bought a rice cooker, guys. We got that work, we got that work. I got a white girl, she's all that powder. What do you buy your sugar and flour in? This. This. This is what it comes in. And I'm just saying, why isn't it something else? Why isn't flour and sugar sewed in a different bag? Like, this bag is trash. Like, if you go to the flour and the, the sugar section, it's like crumbs and shit, flour, and it's leaking everywhere on the fucking racks. And then if you bring it home and you don't like unload it right away into something, that shit's just be leaking. She has a little toy for this, you know? How do you flip? You flip? Oh, Tino, what's that? Is that a toy with treats? Don't choke on it. Um, I know y'all been asking about Banker. I gave his ass away to Jessica's boyfriend. So he's been over there. I'm so I'm still sick. Oh, speaking of sick, let's take medicine. Um, so I have a I have a cleaning lady. She's been with me, Ezzy. She had did my shoe rack or whatever when I showed you guys. Um, she's been coming for the past like month or two, and she brought over some of these for me being sick, and I think they work pretty good. Oh, hey, crazy! What are you doing? That's why you can't play with nothing because you act crazy. You're no. psycho. And then you shake and do all that weird stuff. Listen to me. No. You're not a play. Oh. 
listen, sweet lastie pie. I've been sick for a week. I lost about seven pounds since I've been sick. Ew, why does shit all melt it? Ew, it busted. Oh, you play games. The pill's busted. I can't take this pill. Or did I bust it with my nails just now? Here. Juicy So who does the laundry? Jessica? <laughs> She does mines and juices laundry. Javon is stretching their own laundry. The princess here doesn't do laundry. And neither does the queen. Huh? Oh. What about the frog? So why y'all haven't talked about this show? Okay. So. No. No? It's YouTube. Okay, when I finish. Somebody that's further along and be like, oh, well, did, 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 did. And then you found out information that you ain't even know yet. <laughs> so, y'all know I don't watch shows and TVs, but I've been because I've been sick. I All right, so my weight goal is 150 pounds. I'm under 150 pounds. I started my weight journey at 180 pounds. So, in January, it was about 180 pounds. I wanted to get to 150. So I got to 150 before I went to New York to walk the runway, which, did you guys see me? Mm -hmm. So cute. I did really good. Um, <clears throat> I made it to 150, and then I guess we got COVID since we got back, and I've been sick for a week, and now I'm under my weight goal. So now I'm 145, so I need to put on five more pounds. <clears throat> I don't want to be too. You guys still have to carry this and this, so I don't want to be like, <sighs> and look at, and then just these two just hanging out, you know. But my back looks really small. I don't have no muscles right now because I'm pretty tired. All right, so we're going to need a rotisserie chicken, all right? So every time I make this dish, you boil the water. Stretch eats the breast, and then we need some carrots and some salad. We are going to peel some carrots. Some carota. I make your cheeks clean. Cinnamon. We're gonna peel some carrots. Guys, if you are in the Riverside IE area, don't forget my meet and greet is October 1st. So I went to New York for a week. <clears throat> When I got back, Nancy that owns the um, romance boutique that's putting the whole meet and greet together, she got a whole list of vendors. <laughs> we had like one person and then um, 
Next thing you know, I got a whole list of vendors. There's a bunch of people coming, and there's a bunch of different giveaways. There's actually, I want to say it's a bunch of like massage, um, pre-op, or aftercare for the BBL. Also, there is um, a personal trainer giveaway session. Um, at, also, the first 50 people is going to get free goodie bags. So the first 50 people to show up, we're not starting until 4, so I don't know how that's going to work. If you haven't bought my knife set, make sure you guys go purchase my knife set at lovelymimi.com. I'm doing orders in the morning, sending them out. So a problem I've been fucking having is I put a bunch I put a bunch of fragile stickers on the knives, right? When I mail them out. But the mailman is just so fucking rough. He's so he's like so this shit comes comes in a box right and i put it inside of like this padded envelope and then the knives are separate and then the the holder and they're wrapping bubble wrap and stuff like that the box come back i'm talking damage to like what the fuck are y'all stepping on this shit like y'all just fucking throwing this bitch across the fucking room and just stepping on it but some people um holders are damaged so i have to take out holders you know the holders for the knives and send it separately Send it separately to some, um, you know, to uh, return to some cu customers. And it's just like, okay, now I need to, I need to um, call, you know, the manufacturer and buy some holder. Oh my, I'm gonna cut my motherfucking finger. Some holder separately. Nope, he's back to barking. I'm gonna wash. Yes, come to the meet and greet. So, inside of the free goodie bags is gonna be like, you know, Romance Boutique is a sex toy, sex toy store, so she'll probably have some like little stuff in there. And Zule is also gonna um, participate. She's gonna be there too. So she'll probably drop in some um, cuticle oils, some gifts, some, some little naughty stuff. And I got an ice cream truck guy coming. So I'm actually gonna buy 50 free ice cream tickets. So, I'm gonna give away 50 free ice cream to the first 50 people, so. That's gonna be that for the giveaway. So I'm selling my knives there, so to enter the giveaway, we have two different doctors that are giving away BBLs. A lot of you guys are asking, okay, what if you win and you don't want a BBL? Sorry, don't enter if you don't want a BBL. You can give it to somebody, but it's not exchangeable for anything else. So no boob job, no tummy tuck, no cash. Um, the BBL is what the doctors are sponsoring. So that's what it is. So my knives, these are my knives. They come with five, I'm missing one. It's probably in the washer somewhere. And um, they all have my name engraved into them. It's really cute. It says, lovely Mimi. I sell these online for 60 bucks, all right? So at the meet and greet, you can come meet me. And if you do not have money to spend, you do not have to spend any money. You guys can still come, still get a picture. But if you do purchase a knife set, um, I will be selling them at the meet and greet for only $50. No tax, no nothing. $50, do you get to take a picture with me? So my girl Claudia, my dream backdrop, she's gonna do. So we're gonna have like the balloon, the backdrop, all that stuff. You can get to take a picture with me with the knife set behind the backdrop. And I'm gonna post you and me and post it onto my Instagram story and tag you for the 50 bucks for the knife. You get a picture with me and I 
little post. And then you had to buy a um, a product from Romance Boutique because that's where the event is taking place. So she has a lot of different things. She has lube, sex toys, sex pills. She has faha. She has stripper little lingerie. She has heels. She has workout outfits. So she has a whole bunch of everything. Cerezier family, fuck you, bitch. Shut the hell up. You don't care. You don't care about what? You don't care about me talking? Don't even get me started. It's like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to even say that. Why would I even let you bother me? Um, <coughs> so, <laughs> you probably purchased that. And, of course, Zule. So, Zule sells nail products. And if you want to join the BBL, you do have to purchase something from Zule. Um, she's also going to bring stuff that, you know, you can purchase, like, a, a cuticle oil or something. You know, something or a keychain. It doesn't even have to be much. You know, because we understand that not everybody do nails, so they don't need nail products. Um, so yeah, once you buy a product from all three, you can put your name and you can type it out. You're gonna write it out. We're gonna give you a raffle ticket. You'll put your name, your email, your phone number, and um, <clears throat> and uh, that's gonna be for the raffle. So I'm gonna get on, I'll make a video where I'm drawing the raffle out. Mind you, it's gonna be more than one raffle given away. Okay, it's more than it's two BBLs. It's gonna be um, personal training. It's gonna be it's gonna be but it's I don't know what the hell all the giveaways are because I just seen the list and I was like this is a long ass list of giveaways. So if you don't want win if you don't win one thing you can win something else. It's definitely a long list of stuff. Let's wash our vegetables because I did drop a curd and picked it up. Oh, food gonna be there? Yes, there is drinks. Um, so I am for the first 50 people that are coming that's gonna show up first. Will you wear a folding chair earring? <laughs> that's cute. I thought that whole shit was cute. It was really cute. It was hilarious. Um, so now we're gonna take our chicken. water is boiling. We're going to take our chicken. Already taking the breast off and drop it in there. And so I didn't go to the Asian Mart today because a little bit far and um um they are let me show y'all what they look like so far okay so it's just chicken and water <laughs> and then pour in your vegetable this is very very simple very fast okay we are going to the top we'll close this turn it down and let it cook and as that is going on we have these udons you can get this at Winko you can get this at Stater I got these because I can't make it to the Asian Mart and get the other udon so this worked perfectly fine I don't use the seasoning pack I just buy this so we can use the noodles it's about $1.89 a bag so I think it's a little bit expensive honestly I'm still getting over my sickness so. hold on guys I have to drop something outside do you see where I already left?
again, Street. Not sitting there. Did you even eat your food today? Absolutely not. All right, what were we talking about? Let me sit down for a little bit because I'm a little bit dizzy. I'm a little dizzy. Oh, get my water. Oh my God, run along. There's someone on here. Can't you just get a tree? yesterday i don't know how y'all do with these dogs i can't i can't i can't i don't understand how people have 15 fucking dogs like i can't do it i can't fucking do it i have one jessica let banker come over the other day so we gave banker away because the house just smells like a fucking farm like i could not do it anymore like there's cages everywhere like when he was here it was like oh we need a to block him from here, block him from there, the cage here, the cage there. It just felt like a fucking farm. Like my house just didn't feel like a house. It just felt like, and he pissed on all over the carpet, juice rooms. Absolutely not. I know you did not just go finish it and sit your ass back over there. No, casino. No. It just smelled like a fucking farm, dog. I couldn't do it anymore. I was just like, and then the last straw was, I think we went to San Francisco. And Stretch has his house shoes. Anyways, Banker ate his house shoes. <laughs> so that was like, you're done. You're done. You have to go. So we gave him to Jessica's boyfriend. So he's been at Jessica's boyfriend's house. And, you know, Jessica's boyfriend likes Banker better because he thinks Banker's look better. Which Banker, you know, he has a better color wave. He got the eyes and stuff like that. And, um, but Casino's not allowed over there. Because remember when Jessica went to get her BBL, Casino was over there and he ate you know he bit everybody in the house <laughs> so casino's not allowed over there but banker bit them too but he was like oh but banker's cute he can stay here see casino can stay here because he knows you know what i'm saying he don't do all that pissing and pooping in the house <clears throat> but he he did yesterday and i'm just like mm -mm, so disappointed in you and they won't they won't shit or piss on the hardwood floor they keep going to my white room they keep going to my white room I'm losing my shit. Like, why do y'all keep going into my white room? Like, they keep, they find carpet to shit or piss on. So, casino is allowed to stay here. But, Banker can't. And it's like, and, he, and when he do come over, it's just like, it's, it's so busy. It's just so busy. It's so much. It's so much. That's why I'm like, when I see people that have like 15 dogs, I'm just like, How? and then there's dog hair like there's dog hair and then you know we have short haired dogs i don't even understand like in the washing machine and the dryer bro there's hair everywhere like in every corner every fucking crevices is hair and then i went my my friend picked me up when we were in um i don't know what kind of dog she had i want to say a stitch shoe or something um she came to pick us up and her car was covered in dog hair i'm talking about like tornado storm of dog hair and i'm just like how do you live like this <laughs> how do you live like this and it's like you can't wear black because it's just dog hair all over the place i don't know i y'all know me it's it's hair everywhere um yeah no i'm good oh let me season this for y'all okay So we got our big pot right here. Very simple seasoning. First we're gonna add accent, which is like 
MSG. Ugh. I can't even fucking reach. We're gonna do fist sauce. Rock sugar, if you have rock sugar. Thanks. Sugar. Remember, this is a big pot, y'all. Of water, of bland water, so. And this chicken mama here. This chicken bouillon right here. This makes soup taste so good. So good. So I didn't use the Goya. And then Tiny, I, you know, I started watching her use this and I bought this. And I'm like, oh, the fuck? This is so good. You can put this in anything that you cook. You can put it in your mashed potato, bitch. You can put it in anything. It's so good. And some garlic powder if you like. Our fish sauce was the salt already, but if you want to add in a little bit extra salt, you can. And that's it, bro. That's it on the seasoning. Give this a mix. Get a spoon so I can taste it. I feel like I can add a little bit more on. Let's do our sides. So cover this up. Let's uh, cut up our green onions. Yeah, I knew um, we use just like fall noodles. So when I make it for her, I use fall noodles. For me and Javon, we like udon. that you can cut these and freeze them in little Ziploc bags and that they last really good. Once again, if you haven't purchased my knife set, make sure you guys go purchase my knife set at lovelymimi.com and uh, yeah, we're just gonna cut up some scallion. Oh, and cilantro. My neighbor bought me some soup because I was sick. She made me some Mexican tortilla soup, chicken noodle soup. And like her toppings are cheese, salsa, um, sour cream, avocado. So that I was different. I liked it. You know, for us, Asian is always green, onion, scallions, uh, cilantro, onion, fried garlic. Mm -hmm. um, my head fucking hurt, bro. Empress, Empress, we shot that in one day. Let me get the...
can you see my weight loss? Like, 30 pounds sounds like a lot of weight. Like, can you tell? You know, I look at myself every day, so I can't really... Like, I can tell when I look at an old picture or old video. But just looking at myself, like, on the live, on the camera right now, I can't really tell that I lost weight. But I know I lost 30 pounds, and I 30 pounds is a lot of fucking weight. Can you tell? You good? <laughs> it's okay. Let people talk shit. If I see it, I'll block it. If I don't, like, I'm not looking. I don't have time. And then we have some chili oil, some hoisin. My last bit of sriracha, I'm down this fucking low. I'm, I'm about to like be desperate and buy you some for $50. Because other sauces do not taste the same. It doesn't. <gasps> okay, so let's let that simmer for about 10 more minutes. Let's talk. We'll let that simmer for about 10 more minutes and then we'll go eat move this down here okay um i definitely see it in my face but then this is like oh i be pointing this out and pointing that out oh thank you thank you you saw me walk in the fashion show and you know some trolls was talking about my ass on um First off, so I go on my Instagram, right? Mind you, I hate, I don't, I, <clears throat> if I start talking shit about people, then, oh, I'm body shaming or I'm being a fucking bully. But let me tell you, this big, precious ass bitch look like she fucking eat buckets of fucking KFC every motherfucking day. This big, precious ass bitch, right? She was like, mm, y'all see that? Her ass look infected. And I'm just like, you fucking big fucking shimu, fucking free willy ass, fucking refrigerator built, big back body bitch, fucking Rapunzel, fucking fat ass, rumple still skin ass bitch, you big body hamburger bun ass bitch, you fucking microwave built, big back bitch, watermelon fucking body ass bitch. <laughs> but I didn't want to say any of that. You know, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I did not say it. I didn't say any of that, you fucking potluck, fucking bucket bitch. Ugh. I didn't say none of that shit. Body built like a fucking hiking book bag ass bitch. I didn't say nothing. Water cooler body ass bitch. Fucking garage built ass bitch. Punching bag body ass bitch. Uh -oh. I didn't say none of that shit though. I didn't say none of it. I didn't say none of it. I ain't saying none of that. I ain't saying none of it. I thought it. I thought it. I wanted to type it. I ain't fucking say it. <coughs> but anyway, so she commented. She was like, that piece of her ass looked infected, right? And I was like, <laughs> I was infected. I was like, first off, you fucking, I didn't even say it. I didn't even, I wanted to say all those things that I just said right now. I didn't say it. I didn't say none of that shit, okay? I wanted to. I wanted to say all that shit, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> so, so I look at her picture. Now, I'm, I'm not saying precious for no reason. I'm not saying precious for no fucking reason. Her profile picture looked like precious, okay? Her profile picture looked like precious. And she was like, oh, your piece of your ass is infected. I'm like, infected? Bit first off, I am 33 years old. It's called weight, it's called gravity, and it's called age. Okay, 
This ass ain't fucking plump like it used to be. This is 15-year-old ass shots. I had ass shots since I was 18. Illegal ass shots on top of that. I don't even know what it is. It was in a deer park bottle. It looked like this when she shot it in my ass. I'm walking the runway. All of these girls, y'all, all of these girls was 21, 22. Okay, so 30 year old mom with two kids is killing it. Y'all can't tell me shit. I did my damn thing. All these girls are so surprised that I was like, I got two kids, you know, 33. It's a whole different industry though. So they think that I'm like them, you know what I'm saying? They think they're like, you know, we're all talking and they're like, so we're talking about like a percentage of our followers. I was like, I got 90 percent female followers. They're like, no way, for real. And they're like, I have 98% men. And I was like, yeah, nah, I'm opposite. <laughs> I do this bomb shit. I do this shit on the side. This OF shit, this is like, this is my backup. This is like some short shit that I do. This is like my main income nor my main focus. You know, I do it because, I mean, I make fucking pretty good. But these girls were like fucking 21, 22. And, uh, <clears throat> but anyways, so the bitch, the, yeah, the big pressure bitch was like, um, I said, first off, bitch, I said, it is age and gravity. And I, and somebody else said something, and I was like, I know what it is. Y'all don't have to point it out. Like, I have a little droop, like, on my right butt cheek, on the inner side of my right butt cheek. I have a little droop, and I know it's there. Where um, I had, I was about to, like, you know, get a little lipo for it one time. But then I thought about it. I was like... I don't want to go under the knife. Like, I don't want to get put to sleep for something so small that I can just go to the gym and work out on. So I never did. I never went to go under the knife or whatever to, you know, I just been going to the gym, doing squats, doing leg push, you know, leg workout. You know, at a certain age, you have to accept that gravity, you can't beat age. Age is going to happen. Gravity is a thing. Your body is going to fucking sag. But I think I look damn good. So... I said, you big back, big belly ass bitch, you big everything ass bitch, built like a fucking grapefruit bitch, you built like a motherfucking cantaloupe. <coughs> Absolutely not. You're not going to sit there and fucking growl for no treat. I just gave you one. And so, yeah, you know, I was like, I see how you look from the front, right? I was like, I see how you look from the front. So I can only imagine what you look like from the back. That's all I said to her, though. I didn't say all the other shit that I wanted to say because, of course, if I say all of the shit that I want to say, I will be a bully. I will be a cyber bully. I will be a hater. I will be a body shamer. I will be all types of shit. Because nowadays, you can't clap back. People can talk shit about you, but you're not allowed to, you know, talk shit about other people. I wanted to say all that, but I didn't. Um, and so, when I told her, I said, I see what you look like from the front. I can only imagine what you look like from the back. And she replied and said, it looks amazing. <laughs> um, she said that she looks amazing from the back. <laughs> and that she's all natural. I almost threw up. I did throw up. I gagged. But I left it at this because the level of fucking delusional that some people are on. <laughs> the level of fucking delusional some people are on. And then and they can talk shit about other people. And then people can't talk about them. But they're fucking delulu. The fucking lulu. What? Take your clothes off and walk in front of hundreds of people in a bikini, bitch, so I can see your motherfucker Michelin man looking ass. You look like the motherfucking cat from Alice in Wonderland. Matter of fact, you look like the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. But I couldn't say none of that stuff, so I just left it as is. But yeah, these girls were so fucking young. Like, I'm standing in line and I'm talking to them. And they're like, I'm like, how old are you? I'm 21. I'm 22. And I'm like, y'all fucking look old as shit. Y'all fat. <laughs> I was like, y'all look old as shit. Smell, hold on. Yeah, you ready to eat? No, I'll take it down. Okay, hurry up. We're going to wait for to make Javon's will. Let me turn it down a little bit lower so I can see my So, yeah, like, 
this girl was like 20, 21, bro. I'm 33. That's over. I can't do math. Is that <laughs> 12? <laughs> Is that 12, bitch? Over 12 years ago, right? And so, <clears throat> I'm like, yeah, 12 years. Okay, okay, 12 years, okay. I was like, y'all look old, right? And, I, and they're like, how do you look so young? I was like, well, you know, I'm Asian and you guys, you guys are white, you know? Yeah, I used to like bananas. And the white girl, she started laughing. Well, they were all white. The like, white girl, so she started laughing. She's like, I have, she's like, I have all the skincare remedies. I do all my skincare. I said, skincare won't do much for genetics. It's not really your fault, you know? But I'm going to fucking lie, y'all. They look old as shit. They look old. They all look old. They all look old. They all look old. Like, if I show y'all, I, I think I posted in some of my, in my stories, the lineups of all the girls. They're all in their early 20s, y'all. Like, they're all in their early 20s. I'm just like, no kids, no nothing. Like, I think there was one one lady. She was in her 40s. But that's it. Everybody else was, like, in their early 20s. No. I already gave you a snack. You're not going to beg me for another snack. I just gave you a treat. I don't like when you do that. And you stink. You smell, pew, pew. You smell like, like you've just been rolling around and shit. <laughs> um, Christina, if you say so, I got to see your picture. Because I ain't going to lie. I remember talking about it on TikTok, right? When I'd be like, you know, y'all white people age like bananas. And then there was like a couple of people that like was like said the same thing that you said, Christina. And they were like, I'm white and I'm I'm 40, but I look 20 or some shit like that. And I go to their, I go to their page and I'm like, so I went to the lady's page that said that, and I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> But I realized Delulu is at an all-time high, you know? It's a lot of y'all in this group chat. I can, I'm, I can be very delusional, too. I'm very... Delulu is at, is at is upmost high right now. Delulu should be a crime. There's Delulu is at an all time high rate right now. So I'm just saying, you may think, you may think that you look younger than what you are, but you got to let the people see for themselves because I. Because there is a trend on TikTok where people be like, they be like, oh, there's like a sound that they use. I don't know what it is. And then like people think I'm this age, but I'm really this age. So people like, there, there's a TikTok that people go, oh, people that. I don't know what's wrong with my Wi Fi. And there is, I'm sorry, I love you. I love you guys, my Caucasian sisters. <laughs> um, is, it, is it buffering? Is it buffering? Okay, are we back? Okay, are we good? I don't know what's going on. My fucking Wi-Fi is trash. I always have issues with my Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I love you, my Caucasian girls, my Caucasian sisters. <laughs> can we call? Can we call y'all my? Can we call you my white queens? I love y'all, but you guys are. When it comes to delusional about age, you guys are top, top. You guys are so against it. Like you guys are so. And it's like if you go on TikTok and you go watch these trends, right? And it's like all these. Um, 
Now there is some, there is some. I'm not gonna lie, there's a, there's a few of them that do look a lot younger than what their age is, but it's rare. It's, it's one in a, y'all don't age good like black people. Like black people age way better. Black don't crack and then a lot of Asians don't raisin. Um, but when you go look under that trend and you look at like under that sound or whatever and there's a lot of white people and then you'll go and I'll go in the comments and shit. I don't ever comment. I'm not a person that trolls. I don't troll, but I'll go in the comment and I'll just die laughing. But um, yes, a lot of uh, white women are very delusional on there that you guys think that you look younger than your age. Not saying that all of y'all is, but a lot of y'all are very delulu when it comes to that topic. And it's okay. It's okay. It's not your fault. It's not your fucking fault. A lot of people, oh, you can stop smoking, stop drinking, you eat healthy, skincare, remedy. All that do play a good part into how you age, blase, blase. Um, but a lot of times it's also genetics too. So it's really not nothing you can do, you know. But so a lot of girls did ask me, um, well, how, um, you know, sometimes when you people get actual questions, there's a, there's a lot of basic questions that people ask. Oh, what's your name? Where you from? How old is you? How do you stay looking so youthful? I always say being nice. I always say being nice to people. So, uh, I think being kind helps you too. I think evil, mean people age way faster. They age way faster. So it's like, evil people just you can they just look older they feel older because they're so mean like i've ever met a mean person just like Ooh, it's just, i can feel your meanness and it ages you so being mean also ages and then somebody's spirit and stuff like that but i've also met young spirit with older looking self so that's not always true um <clears throat> but i think being kind to people it's um it's very helpful <laughs> Mind you, okay, so y'all see my freckles? All these freckles that are coming in? So, I don't have no foundation on right now. I just have, um, I stuck some eyelashes on. So, I called my, I FaceTimed my cousin earlier, and my cousin has a lot of freckles. And she was like, she was like, uh, God, where do all these freckles come from? And I'm like, age? <laughs> I never had fucking freckles. I don't know where these fucking freckles came from. I swear it's like I hit 30 and these freckles came from out of nowhere. And she was like, oh, I thought you had, you know, people pay for freckles. I was like, I don't want these fucking freckles. Like, I don't want these fucking freckles. But I guess, yeah, from the sun, from the age, I'm getting these freckles. I personally don't want them. They've never been my thing. She has a lot of them. She always had them. No, she had them since we were little. She always had freckles. So I'm like, no, you look cute with your freckles because your freckles been a party for a long time. For me, these just came about. So I don't want these fucking freckles. Juicy? Juicy? I don't really have a voice. Juice? Juicy? Yeah. You want noodle? No, that's okay. Okay. I need to make a bowl. I can't eat it all. You want to share with me? Because I'm not hungry either. I don't want to eat a bunch. But I, I, I do need to make some of these noodles, so. Okay, so I'm doing this thing called Clear and Brilliant. Um, I had one session done. I went to laser away. It's going to help me with removing of my freckles. I'm like, dark spot hyperpigmentation. And it's called... Um, clear and brilliant uh, you, make me a bowl. you ready okay yeah. all right let's make Javon's bowl we're gonna start with a bowl now I'm gonna turn the heat all the way up on the soup See, that dog is back out barking again. So this is what the soup is looking like. We seasoned it. So that's just the bra. So, make sure you purchase my knife set. It comes with scissors also. Uh, LovelyMimi.com. And some people were asking, what are these? Like, you can, these are, it has a can opener right here. You can open up a can. You can crack some crab legs or something right there. So this comes with a seasoning pack. We don't use this. I only use this udon because I couldn't get to the Asian store. So this is available at like the American store. So 
So we're going to put this in a microwave for a couple seconds. We're going to let our broth get really, really hot. I can't even sing, you guys. I can't even do karaoke. Dog, I was down bad. Do you like my new tattoo? I don't think my mom's seen it. She hasn't said nothing. Did I burn this tit or did I burn this tit? Remember when I burnt myself with the egg roll? I can't remember. We got some bean sprout. Let me rinse a little bit of bean sprout. What the hell? So some of the chicken should be So you know the longer you cook this the more in depth the chicken will be falling off with the flavors. We had it on for a good while now. He took a shower, he's out. in the microwave for like 30 more seconds so that I can make sure that the noodles are really soft with hot water. <clears throat> Just for 30 seconds. So this is what the bowl is looking like, and we're gonna add our cilantro, our green onions, our bean sprout. Wipe this camera. Sriracha. Open this one. Buffering. No, YouTube. We gotta try the new caramel uh, whip uh, thingy. Freaking uh, Chick Fil A. We we just went to Chick Fil A. 
You did when you went to whatchamacallit. It's blurry? Is it still blurry? What's wrong with the Wi-Fi, Javon? And then I got some fried shallot right here. Because Facebook always delete me, but they let a bunch of fake pages have me. And squeeze some lemon juice. Can you see it? So this is what the bowl is looking like. I want to steal some because I can't. What? I don't watch my show. There's a bunch of fake pages of me, but I am not allowed to make a fucking Facebook. It's stupid. Why? I don't know. You're banned from Facebook? I've been banned for years now. Why? I don't fucking know. I don't Why even do have the so app. Oh, wait, damn. So, wait, so you don't have Facebook? No. Damn, I told the girl at the donut shop, I was like, oh, my mom's Facebook is this. And I was like, I think this is the real one. I don't have a Facebook. <laughs> But hey, but they people following. Hey, Mr. Stretch, somebody has a fake Facebook, Mr. Stretch, with a million. Why are you running with over a million followers? Yeah, yours is a million. Yeah, I think Mr. Stretch is like, is it a million or 500,000? How much is on your fake Facebook? Why are you so creepy? Did any fist sauce? Extra fist sauce? I don't know. I'm going to steal some of yours because I don't have. Um, I'm gonna get a separate bowl though. You ain't getting shit, Casino. What? Hmm? No, he, I already gave him a treat. He, he's fucking standing over there. He keeps standing over there waiting for some more. I already gave him some. He refused to eat his dog food. He's not about to keep. Begging for treat. Move your spoon over. Why don't you just grab new broth? You want me to get new broth? No, because then I have to put all the extra stuff in it. The chili oil and stuff. Let me go under my legs. Is the noodles off enough? I don't know. Still need to cook more. I don't know what to do that. I thought I turned it off. So good. Stick it in the microwave if you want the noodles to get softer. girl from Indiana. I haven't been to Indiana in a while. I used to always go to Indiana. Mm. I 
this broth is just delicious. The soup? Yeah. Mm. I had Chick-fil-A earlier, so I'm a little bit still full. Am I excited for fall? October is about to be a busy month. So October 1st, I have the meet and greet where I'm doing the giveaway. October 5th, my mom and my aunt is coming over. And then I'm taking them on a surprise trip once they get here. A day. Two days. Mm, this broth is so good. Good broth. Good soup. Okay. <clears throat> Want to watch Javon eat? Please, no. Why? I'm going to watch my video. I just came from practice. Like, I'm just, I don't feel like eating for y'all. Whatever. 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 So, after my mom comes, that's October something, 10th. She leaves, and then October 15th, I'm going to North Carolina for a Vietnamese event. Which I've never done. Um, they just asked me to join the party. Uh, so I'm not necessarily uh, hosting anything. There. Excuse me. I like have to clean up right away it bothers me. You know what, I'm gonna sit down and talk to y'all. I'll clean up when I finish. Cause I haven't been on live in a long time, so. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna swing by and see Tiny when I'm in North Carolina. I told her I'll come see her. I really fucks with Tiny. She reminds me so much of myself. Like she's just so like, like supportive where like you just feel like and i feel like i'm that way a lot of times like <clears throat> so now i sent my knives out to a few influencers you know it's not mandatory for them to tag me i want them to have it even if they like mention me one time they don't have to mention me every time they use it uh use my knives or whatever she of course went above and beyond out of everybody that i sent the knives to and like she loves the knives so much and like she was so excited um <clears throat> no, tiny, tiny licious, tiny lock, 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 tiny? the little small one, yeah. And what North Carolina always cooking. And like, she like went above and beyond, like, show, you know, showing love to my knives and like really like using it. And she's like, ever since I got this knife, Mimi, I like, I've been using Mind you, people are not required to do that. They don't have to do that. But it's just, she's just so genuine, like, with it. Because there's few people I sent to that they haven't even fucking, like, 
tag me. <laughs> or even fucking say they got it. You know what I'm saying? Which is like, which I don't have to. But the fact that she went and beyond, above and beyond for it, like, it's fucking super sweet, super dope for that. Because <clears throat> she really didn't have to. So, yeah. Oh, I'm still really sick, y'all. I'm still really like, no. what? What? I'm just thinking about Chinese food. Too late. I already booked the flight. It's too late. You can't Everybody go. Chinese food. Oh. Uh, and your cousin with the bumbo way is out there. I actually you didn't want to go. Because I'm sticking. Hmm? I'm sticking. It's too late now. Well, we got no videos. Ooh, coming back to Vegas for my mom. I'm going to take them. I'm going to, it's going to be a surprise for them uh, for a day. So we're going to, so I already got it planned out. They get here. My mom's going to get, they get here Thursday. I'm going to let them take them to a Fuklothal, which is Westminster. Hey, Ray, every Vietnamese person when I go there, they think it's like the heart of fucking Vietnam. It really ain't. It's a dead ass mall, like with nothing to buy. You want more? Yeah. It's in the fridge. You want to eat the whole bowl? Yeah. You want to eat another bowl? In there. Where? Look with your eyes. Transfer the broth into a small pot and put it in there so it can cook softer. So it can cook more. Um, so, okay, so when my mom get here, I'm gonna take the Fuklata. It's, it's, okay, so Fuklata is like, Westminster is an area out here, like little Saigon, Vietnamese area. Um, so they think like, they think it's so awesome or whatever. It's really not. It's like, it's a dead ass mall. Like, there's nothing to buy in that bitch but like jewelry. So, so oh yeah. So if you're asking like where I get the jewelry and stuff from, from, from that area. Um, but it, it ain't nothing. You go eat, go there. But <clears throat> all the Vietnamese people want to go there. So I'm going to take them there so they can see. I honestly feel like there ain't shit to do in California and everything is over price over fucking price okay so they're coming for a few days <clears throat> for like a week so i was like first i started looking up um palm springs because i haven't been to palm springs yet and there's a jw marriott hotel that i wanted to go to mind you i called this is like a month ago when i was making phone calls so i can get booked so i can book a hotel in palm spring for october y'all all of the rooms are sold out. And the rooms are like $800 per night in Palm Springs. There ain't shit to do but fucking food. There ain't shit to do but like shop around in the fucking hotel. Uh, go to their little pool area. I don't even know if you can fucking swim in October. Like I don't even know if it's fucking hot enough to go swimming. Um, go eat around the area. Go look at some damn trees or something like that. $800 a night. Mind you, it's six of us, so we're going to need at least two to three rooms. Insane. So I was like, you know what? Fuck Palm Spring. I'm going to scratch this out. So then Jessica goes, oh, why don't you go to Catalina Island? Right? So if y'all don't know about Catalina Island, it's an island that's like an hour ferry from, from here. So I will have to drive to Santa Monica, which is like 50 minutes. So drive to Santa Monica to the, the deck or whatever and you catch like a little ferry for like 80 bucks and then you go to Catalina Island you can go for the day or so I started looking up some hotels and some so it looked like little Italy but it's in California on its own island it's called Catalina Island so I, I was considering it I was like okay if I can't do Palm Spring I'll try Catalina Island but then as I'm looking at videos of Catalina Island I'm just like there's nothing to do here either but walk and everything looks old. Like everything is more like old looking, you know, like it looks old. And and you have to walk or you have to catch a little golf course or and and I'm just like, it's it just looks old. I, I don't like I don't like old antique places. Like I've never been the kind to be like, oh, I wanna go somewhere to see the ancient artifacts or vintage or I don't like old shit. I like new fucking shit. I like modern. I like clean. Like I just, I get fucking icky, right? And so like the only thing there is to do on Catalina Island is 
go eat. Mind you, there's no Asian food. You know how it's zip lining. These ladies are 80 years. My mom's 80 years old. My aunt is like 70 something years old. They have parasailing. They have biking around the fucking mountain. They're old as fuck. They're not about to bike. They're not about to walk. They're going to get seasick from even the ferry. So it's 80 bucks for all six of us ferry. It's like fucking $600 on top of the room, on top of driving over there. So once again, I was like, no to Catalina Island. I probably would do this with me and Stretch one day just to see how it is. I was like, I don't see us having fun here. And it was expensive too. That's expensive. Just the ferry ride back and forth is fucking expensive on top of renting a room and stuff like that. And then, you know, them old Asian ladies, they just want to eat fucking Asian food. There's n none of that on Catalina Island. So I was like, no to Catalina Island next. So I said, like, you know what? How about San Diego? Let me tell y'all this. Let me tell y'all there's some family. Y'all ready? Let me tell you some family hot pipe and tea. So y'all remember that video I posted of my niece's mom? My, my, my god sister, she's mixed with white, right? So she was a war baby. She's a war baby. She was born in Vietnam with uh, one of the soldiers or whatever. My mom is a nut job, y'all know that. My mom is a fucking nut job. My aunt is also a fucking nut job. So they're just two fucking nut jobs, okay? So she told her daughter she has this whole fake love story of with this soldier and she waited for him to come back and he was the love of her life. She got pregnant. He went into the war. She waited for him to come back. He didn't. He died. That's her story that she, she stuck with all these fucking years. All these years she stuck with that story. My niece finally did an ancestry test, right? Mind you, my god sister is like 56, 50 something. She's old. She, they do the god ancestry. She finds her dad, right? She finds the grand, granddaughter. They hit the granddaughter. They're like, yo, the granddaughter's like, yo, you don't know, granddaddy's still alive. So we're like, what? She's still alive? No, this is my god family. So this is, this is the aunt that's coming. This is the aunt, not my mom. This is the aunt, the 70 year old. My mom's the 80 year old, the 70 year old is my aunt. So she has this whole love story, right? So they did the Ancestry.com and they find the granddaughter. The granddaughter is, oh, granddaddy's still alive. And they're like, what? He's still alive? The name that she gave us, the name that she gave them all these years, a fucking lie. A fucking lie. That's not even his name. <laughs> it's not his name. So <clears throat> they fucking, they finally link. He didn't even know that she existed. He didn't even remember who she was. It was a fucking one night stand, okay? There was no fucking love story. There was none of that shit. It's a one night, it was a one night stand. He don't even fucking remember. He was like, you know what I'm saying? He was a 21 veteran fighting in the war. It's a fucking one night stand. He don't even fucking, he didn't even know. He didn't know. He didn't even remember she existed. He didn't even remember the one night stand. He didn't know that she existed. <clears throat> Tea pipe and hot. Let me tell you, yeah. <laughs> Let me sit right, my mommy sit right here because I got to charge my phone. So I'm I'm gonna make videos with these two old ladies when they come. Trust me. So Did you tell that story before? I don't know if I told it to YouTube live. Y'all knew because we went to see them. So my god cousin, uh, so my god sister, she comes out here. Uh, so she met her dad. He came. He flew to Maryland to meet him. She looked exactly like him. When I say split fucking image, she looked just like him. Imagine being 50 years old, right? 50 years old, you never knew you had a, you thought your dad was dead all your life. You never thought that he would even be alive when you found him. And, and then like you meet him and they look exactly alike, look exactly like all her life. She's so happy. She's like, yeah, I have a daddy. I have a daddy. She's so happy. Right. Um, <clears throat> so she's so excited. So there's whole family drama with, with the 70 year old aunt. Okay. That, that I'm not going to tell you guys. Um, but anyway, so, so my mom, right? So I get on the fucking phone with my mom and I was like, um, cause the rest of them got to come visit me. I've been posting YouTube fan, uh, videos last month. They came here, they got to come to California and, um, you know, we went to see, you know, she went to see her dad or whatever. The grandma, the 70 year old aunt, she's jealous. She's like, she keeps pouting, talking about, I guess I'm just going to die and never get to visit California, blah, 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 blah. So 
my niece called me and was like, yo, can grandma go with your mom to Cali? I was like, yeah, come on, bring them. I think that's even better because now my mom has somebody to talk to so she don't have to fucking like wrap me up when she get here, okay? Yeah. She, she has a friend, so they're both coming. So <clears throat> she cut, so my mom gets on the phone with me and I, and I tell her, I say, hey, you know, auntie's gonna come with you. And she's like, oh, okay. You know, Jayvon. She's like, oh, my mom goes, oh, is she going to go visit her husband? I was like, her husband? What are you talking about? She's like, oh, you, you're not, she's not going to go visit her husband? I'm going to take her to go visit her husband. Mind you, he live in San Diego, the, the, the soldier. He live in San Diego. I'm like, are you fucking delusional? Like, <laughs> are you delusional? I was like, first off, how the fuck are y'all gonna get there? Don't either one of y'all drive, y'all older shit. No, and he lives an hour away in San Diego. I'm not taking y'all. He don't even want to fucking see y'all. Like, and so, and so, I was like, are you crazy? And But this is Asian women for y'all, okay? These are Vietnamese women for y'all. Delusional, <laughs> okay? Delusional. And she's like, I, I was like, why? He don't want to fucking see her. And she's like, why? Why wouldn't he want to see her? This is my mom talking. Why wouldn't he want to see her? It's only one hour away. San Diego is one hour from... I'm in Riverside. It's only an hour away. So she's like, why wouldn't he want to see her? They used to be in love. They had... They used to be in love. Of course, he remembers her. He has a baby by her. The, the, the Lulu. The fucking Lulu, right? And I'm like, no. No, he don't. First off, no, no, and no. He don't want to fucking see y'all. You guys are fucking delusional. <laughs> and I'm like, and he was like, she was like, he, mind you, he has a whole wife. He has a whole wife. His wife is like so cool, so down here. He has a whole wife. He, she has a, he has a Filipino wife. And the Fil Filipino wife, she, she was all over Stretch. We met her. Like, she, she loved Stretch when we, we went to talk or whatever. She's so cool. She speaks really good English. Like, you know, she was raised in America or whatever. She's been here since like the 70s, 80s. So I was like, he has a whole wife. No, both of y'all lunatics are not about to go fucking see this man. So my mother has this whole plan that she's going to take her to go see him. They don't know how to work a phone. They don't speak English. They can't catch Uber. They, you know what I'm saying? So, it's <laughs> fucking crazy. And so I asked my niece, I was like, so I told my niece, I was like, yo, you know, my mom just said that she's going to take her to go see, you know, her man or whatever. And then my niece is like fucking delusional. And I was like, and she was like, you know, my grandma's delusional too. She's like, I bet you, she was like, I bet you $100 when she talks to your mom, she's going to, um, she's going to tell her the story. She's still going to tell this, this crazy story. So the aunt, the 70 year old. Her story, she's still sticking with this story. She's still sticking with the, the love story, the making love under the rain in a village and the soldier goes off to fight. He never returned. And as she waits for his love to return, that's the story she's sticking with. None of that shit happened. <laughs> none of that shit happened. You don't fucking remember them. You don't know none of this shit. That's the story. That's the story she's gonna tell my mom, and they're probably gonna stalk him on Facebook. I bet you, they gonna stalk him on Facebook. <laughs> and so, and, and so she's just like, and I um, cause my, cause my niece is like, you know, we gotta keep coming out here to visit him because he doesn't want to go, you know, to Maryland to visit them because he thinks it's awkward to him. It's awkward. To the soldier, he's like, yo, I really don't remember her at all. I don't, I don't remember. He was 20 years old. This is over 50 years ago. Over 50 years ago. So he doesn't remember. And so he doesn't even remember who she is. So he doesn't want to go because it's, it's going to be awkward because he didn't even know that he had a child, you know, for 50-something years. So American-wise... Javon, kill the cricket! Kill the cricket! Kill the cricket! Get mommy's shoe! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Here, 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 here! He's right there, hurry, here! Kill it, kill it, kill it! Kill it, kill it! Kill it, kill it! He's on the mat! Kill him! Oh, he jumped! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Why 
eat it because, you know. Why are your freaking shoes so ugly? <clears throat> My mom, they're not going to catch no fucking Uber. They better not. They better not catch no motherfucking Uber. They don't even have his address. Ain't nobody giving them the fucking address. Ain't nobody giving them the address. So, <clears throat> Either way, so so there's just like they're gonna and the okay. So if if you are anybody Vietnamese on here, comment any red hearts. If if anybody is Vietnamese on here, if you're Vietnamese, you're about to understand what I'm gonna say because it's gonna be a hell. They're both fucking Delulu, and it's just the way my mom called me and saying it. And she's just like, you know, they're old. They don't have no tea, and she's just like. She's just like, mm, I'm going to take her to go see her man. It's not her man. He still loves her. He has to love her. He has to love her to have a kid by her. He probably have memories. He doesn't. He has a whole fucking wife. He don't have no fucking memory. It was a one night stand. He don't even fucking remember her. <laughs> so, okay. So since it's some a couple of y'all enemies. My aunt is from Hue. So she's from the South. She has a southern Vietnamese accent. Very heavy, the aunt. My mom has a central So they each have a fucking accent that is very hard to understand. Very dis different so they're both gonna be in my house for a week <laughs> and they be rapping <laughs> they be rapping in like completely different accents so that's gonna be interesting it's gonna be interesting but i'm gonna let them be delulu so okay so back to where i'm gonna take them um so catalina island was out the list so then i find palm spring no, no i'm sorry not palm spring um San Diego. There is a resort in San Diego that has a nice massage. It looks like it's really cool, like little cabanas. Like it's really, really nice to look at. And I was gonna book it, but it was like, dog. It was like six, seven, six to eight hundred a night. And then I'm just like, yo, like for all this money, bro, I could just go to Vegas. <laughs> I could just drive three hours to Vegas. Vegas have Food, Vegas have, yes, E, L, Allen. All you have to do is ask Google. You don't have to ask me everything. Vegas has food. Vegas has show. Vegas hotel are fucking so much cheaper. Vegas, it is. I'm not about to fucking stress out over California. California is stressful. I remember one time Santa Monica Beach or whatever, Venice Beach. I went to go to Venice Beach and booked a hotel out there. Little, dirty, moldy, so expensive, like 400 a night. The room was teeny tiny like we were in fucking New York. Mm -mm, Vegas it is. I fucking love Vegas. There, honestly, living here, there's nothing to do in California. There's, there's nothing to do in California, right? And it's, everything is fucking overpriced. You could go to Vegas and get a, a, a nice room for 150 bucks a night. Why would I pay $800 a night? $800 a night just to do nothing. So fuck that. So my plan is Friday when the kids get out of school. I rented a big van. I'm gonna stick the kids in the car. Because I we were debating if like we should take the kids or not. And then I told Stretch, I was like, if the kids don't go with you, there's no English. Cause they're gonna be speaking Vietnamese the whole time. And then me, and then you know, he didn't want to feel left out. So the kids are coming. Um, I'm gonna stick them in the room with the two old ladies. Cause they did have um Two queen beds. I'm gonna stick the kids. I'm gonna stick the kids in a room with the old ladies. So we're gonna get there. It's like it's only a three hour drive. <clears throat> so I decided to stay at Treasure Island. And I'm gonna tell you why, Treasure Island. I went to my first time in Vegas was my honeymoon a long time ago, ten years ago. And um the thing with these old Asian ladies. I'm becoming like them because, like, after a couple of days of not having noodles, I start to, like, panic. I start to lose my shit. 
But they can't even go a day without rice or noodles. They will lose their shit. So in Treasure Island, they have a, a shitty Vietnamese restaurant, but it is one in there. So that, so I plan Friday to get there, check in, drop off their stuff, take them a fuck, him long, sit and eat. Um, maybe walk the strip or something like that, put them in the room. I don't wake up until after 12. So if they decide, because they, they'll probably wake up early, they're on East Coast time. So if they wake up early, they can go downstairs and see all the little old Asian men that be gambling. Because I'm like, hmm, where can I find little old Asian men to hook them up with? The casino. Where the fuck else? There's a bunch of little old Asian men in the casino. You know? They can go, go wander and shit with find little old, <laughs> find little old Asian men hanging around, you know? <laughs> and then... There's a fall restaurant in there, so if y'all decide to wake up fucking early, y'all can go to that fall restaurant and leave hell alone. Go go play your little roulette. Because <clears throat> that's easy for her. She know black or red. That's it. And then um, at 5 for dinner, I booked us um, at the Wynn Hotel, the Wynn Buffet. Because I've been trying to go there for a while now, but you need reservations. And I was too close one time, so I uh, there was no reservation available. So I booked us Wynn Hotel, uh, the Wynn Buffet, at 5. And then um, at nighttime, at 9, I booked uh, a circus show, Circus Ole. And it's, in, it's inside of the Treasure Island Hotel, so we don't have to go far. And then, of course, the next day, we're just going to go to the Rock and Potato. Because Juice and Jay didn't get to try the potato yet. So that would be fun for the old ladies. So they can stop saying that, oh, they don't ever get to go to California. Because, you know, every Vietnamese person's dream is to go to California. Because there's so many Asians in California. Like, there's the first generations, like, from Vietnam. Everybody wants to be in California. Like, if you get dropped off anywhere, people want to get dropped off in California. The Vietnamese population is high. The Asian population is high. They feel like they're at home. They feel like they fit in. We we didn't get dropped off in California. You know, we got dropped off in fucking Merlin. And it is what it is. It, it is what it is. You know, you get wherever you get dropped off at. Some people got dropped off in Australia. Thank God we didn't get, you know what I'm saying? We didn't get dropped off in Australia. They just be, you know, dropping us off. Like when you get sponsored to America, they just literally just, wherever the sponsor is from or something like that, they just drop you off wherever. But most american i mean vietnamese people dream is to be dropped off in california um so yeah so they have such a like a dream like their their mind is like always dream like which is also delusional because i went to san francisco because she always talked about my uncle living in san francisco oh it's so nice it's so this I went to San Francisco, and I'm like, I don't understand how they survive, first off. It's freezing in San Francisco. It's freezing. So when I went, I was like, I called my mom, I said, I don't, I think all these Asian people have been lying and telling y'all stories. But um, <clears throat> San Francisco is cold. You're not going to survive in San fucking Francisco. It was so fucking cold. It was so hilly. It was so windy. It was so foggy. I was like... I went there twice, and both time I it's fucking cold and foggy. Like, I, I don't think they're being truthful. And it's so fucking expensive. It's so expensive. It's so hilly. I was like, um, they've been lying about San Francisco all your life. Because, I mean, I can take you there. You're not going to like it. Because I didn't like it. It was so cold. So fucking cold. They're lying. Um... I can be looking for fruits. You know what I'm place? I don't know. I don't know. But they're excited to come. So I want to make sure they have like the best time. Because they are old, you know. And I told my mother, I said, don't you, don't you bring your mean ass here and be mean or be rude. Because then you can't come. I'm not going to let you come. I'm gonna, we're going to draw boundaries here. Okay, this is my house. This is our house. This is where my family lives. You don't bring your little shit. <laughs> your little talking shit. But I think she does good. She, when she's not in her home, it's not her place. I think she does 
she does better. You know, she can be very ass kissing when she wants. Um, but you know, I had to like, you know, tell her first. Don't bring none of that shit here. She was like, "What?" She was, she was like, "What are you talking about? <laughs> when am I?" I said, "I'm not about to argue with you. You know what it is that you do. Don't bring that shit here." No, her um. She was rude to stretch when we first went out and he had checked her. <laughs> he's like, he's like, mm -mm, absolutely not. Like, he's like, I didn't do nothing to you. I'm, I'm with your girl. The least you could do. She, he was just like, the least you could, she was, she was being really rude. Like she was giving like, she didn't want to give him a hug. And he just like, if you don't get, at least if you don't speak no English, you can't uh, conversate with me. At least you can do is give me a hug and you do what you do, but you're not going to act or ignore me. Like I don't exist as if I, I'm not with your daughter and I, you know, don't help take care of your grandkids. And he just didn't like it. So he had called her ass out as he should. And she checked herself after that. And she was like, and I told her, I was like, you're rude. And you know, she was trying to bullshit trying to say oh no no it's COVID I just not want to get sick but he he can see whether he doesn't speak the language he can see somebody's body language you know how you move how you you are and she was very fucking rude so he checked her ass <laughs> and then after that she was nice um after that she was you know she gave him a hug and he said you don't have to talk to me you don't have to speak to me but you're not going to be you know what I'm saying make me feel uncomfortable or make me feel like you know like I don't belong or something like that so after that she was um she fixed herself she fixed her attitude because you know people are gonna be calling her out so sometimes you got you got to call people out um because he's like you, you know you can't hold a conversation that's fine you don't have to hold a conversation but you're not going to be treating me like that so at the grad my nephew graduation he um you know we brought it up and she she apologized and she gave him a hug and um we let be as be. You know, because they don't look at you. And they'll talk. As if they didn't just look at you and start talking. You don't understand what they're saying. And nine times out of ten, whether they're talking good or bad, is just feel uncomfortable. And, you know, and they can just be so rude. Um, so he's been telling me, like, make sure she ain't on that shit. And I'm like, yeah, I told her. She ain't going to be on that shit. But in the day, you know. I, I know it's like I try to make excuses for her all the time. Oh, she's old. She's stuck in her way. Da, da, da. But the thing is, my cousin Pi, so my cousin Pi T, her mom and my mom, they look alike. <laughs> they look a lot alike. But Pi T, Pi T mom loves Stretch. I'm talking about like she hugs him. She takes pictures. She want to hold his hair. She's like super happy. Like she, she's so much cooler like she's so much happier she's so much bubblier way more down to earth my mom is fucking mean <laughs> my mom is fucking mean but that's because i think vietnamese people are fucking mean compared to because my aunt is cambodian cambodian you fool you good so cambodian's a little bit you know nicer chiller they be chilling. They be chilling. They're way more down to earth. I'm telling you, the whole Vietnamese race is fucking mean. Cambodian, Laos. The more I meet, the more Cambodians and Laos that I meet, they're just much nicer. They're just nicer. They're much nicer. <clears throat> I need to clean up. Yeah, you better eat your food. He been waiting all day. He just want fucking snacks and shit. Little me? No, the dog. Can you do the dishes? I don't feel like doing right now. I don't know tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow is going to be gross. It doesn't even take you that long. Alright. Thanks. I, oh, you want to wipe? No, you suck at wiping down the counters. You want to uh, wipe down the counters? But you got to do a good job wiping down the counters. You can't just wipe bits and pieces. <clears throat> yeah, Christina. Mm. That's such an old question. Like, do people talk about you when you get your nails done? Yes. People talk about you in English wherever you go. People talk about you in a grocery store. <laughs> like, people talk about you when you get your hair done. It don't even matter what languages. People talk about you in English. So do you think people are not going to talk about you when you get your nails done in Vietnamese, like, it's such a 
how do you say like it's such a people talk about you all the time <laughs> it doesn't matter where why and they know, they know you're my son like they just search you up on the chromebook and it's like hey look this is this boy. This is that's so day. annoying like i don't this is every day like there's never a day like it's been going on since seventh grade six just never stops never fails well this is still popular <laughs> and a whole new generation has my mom ever told you no she be saying wild. My mother say wild shit, no. Like, my mother say some wild shit. Like, she always say some wild shit. <sighs> okay, so I, all right. So I, I rode past this guy stand up the other day and he was talking about Boy. Asian people, Asian parents have an obsession with you being a doctor or lawyer. Like, when, you, when you're grown up in an Asian household, they want you to be a doctor, doctor. Grow up, be doctor, doctor. To have money, to have money. The quickest way to get money is to be doctor. That's how they function in the Asian community. Be doctor, get money. To help, be the doctor to help people is on the bottom list of their totem pole. Help? Ew! <laughs> help people get better. Disgusting! <laughs> That's not the reason to be fucking doctors. The reason we doctor is to get money. You come to America, you have education, you can be doctor and get rich so you can brag to all the other families. Haha, -ha, my son doctor, my daughter doctor, no. have more money than you. Not to fucking help people. I have never once in my life have ever heard my mother or my dad say like, yes, be a doctor so you can help people. You can help them get better. You can help find a cure to cancer. Never, never. That's never has been in an Asian household where you be like, oh, be a doctor so you can fucking help somebody. No. Disgusting. Help. Ew. No. Money. We need money. Asian people are up. They're up. The thing is, they're, they're so obsessed over money. Everything is about money, reputation, da da da. And, and then he said, then he said, I don't know, she pressed me to be a fucking doctor so bad just to get the money because guess what? Old Asian parents refuse to go to the doctor. No! <laughs> they get sick. No! No, go to the doctor. They're going to fucking mix up some herbs from the fucking backyard, drink their tea, fucking steam themselves with a pot, fucking hot water. No, they're going to coin themselves with fucking Tiger Balm and Green Eagle. They do that all the time. I know, but they refuse to go to the doctor because why? Doctor want money. They just want to take my money. <laughs> So it's just the irony, like the irony of Asian people is just like, you know, as I get older and like, I really like kind of dissect, you know what I'm saying? I just dissect how they function it, or, or their, their, their thought or their train of thinking is just, yeah. I'm not all the way, a little bit. I have some ways of them, but not all the way. As I, I dissect like this, their train of thought is just Delulu. <laughs> fucking Delulu. They're fucking Delulu. There's just no other word to it. They're fucking Delulu. Like, Let's spray this chicken.
so my kitchen always got to be clean like I never clean the kitchen like three four times a day I haven't really been downstairs all week because I've been sick You got any relationship advice? What is the relationship questions that you have? Hey, if I were here to sit up tomorrow. What? What is this, man? I don't, you know, I hear, I just call this, like, what is this? Money. Just sitting in the food. You're not eating it. Just sitting right in the food. Booty cheek wash. Is that what it says? Just, yes, that's like, disgusting. I just next to the food, like, we're going to come over. Uh, we're going to have a front over. And they're just like, oh, look, the snacks. Oh, okay. oh, can I eat some of this booty, booty cheek wash? wash? Like, Um, thank you, thank you. Juicy didn't want to eat. She had, um, Chick yeah, she had Chick-fil-A. Want to see her? Juicy, is she asleep? She might be asleep. Y'all gonna see her one day. She's so mean. Y'all just gonna see her one day. She is so mean. She gotta be popular. Y'all could be. One day she's gonna look at me and go, and then one day she'll hate me. I know. She doesn't even, you know, she needs to, remember how she needs to love Javon? She just wanna be under him all the time. Yeah. The other day, I came down. I was like, like, you don't love your brother no more? And she's like, no, he's annoying. I'm like, okay, oh God. Why I came downstairs, come with some food. I was like, what's good, chat? What's good, chat? What's good, chat? Then he says, I hate you. You're so annoying. I hate you. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? I ain't do nothing to her. She hate me for no reason. She be swear I'm a mean as hell. She swear I'm mean as hell. She be saying I'm abusive, I'm mean. No, I'm not. Like, she swear to her soul. <laughs> Then she, her, then her friends, her friends' brothers, they be punching their sister, they be beating their sister. Like this. She's a lunatic. She needs to love Javon. She needs to, she needs to be in his ass, swallowing his farts, eating his farts. Now she don't even want to. Did I swear? You always swear. I don't remember. That's a lot. No, like right now. I said water your mouth. What I said. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Because you cuss so much. That's why you don't know what you say. Yeah, she's definitely getting older, guys. She ain't gonna see a man. Day by the day, she is just me. But thank you for caring, chat. You know, y'all was more worried about me saying something. Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't talk about Juice how she hated me. <laughs> you know, I like, just thank you for the love and support. Hey, can get the broom and grab like these little pieces. Yeah. Upstairs, he's been sick too. We've been sick all week. Sick as a dog. Like we couldn't even move for a whole week. Why don't you bring the dustpan to it?
same. Can you see this go daddy? It's so good. Like I know I've seen it on Shark Tank and stuff like that. And I see it on the commercials. But I never actually use it until the cleaning lady brought one over. And when I tell you this shit scrub away all residue on a pot. Amazing. Amazing. I was like, okay. That's what all the hype is about. It's definitely worth the hype. Cast iron skillet. <laughs> you, know about you better not swear this cast iron skillet. Bitch, I don't even think I I don't even own one. <laughs> it's so heavy. Buy a new rice cooker today. Where the fuck is it? I not no me no Filipino. Me bit no me. I'm washing dishes. Dang, I've been on here with y'all for like two hours. That's because I haven't been on live in so long. work canceled. Mm, it smells good. It's called fresh rainfall. No wasting a paper towel. But if you guys haven't purchased my knife set, please go purchase my knife set. The pieces are all over the place. Lovelymimi.com. I mean, I eat less, I work out. I lost more weight. I, I try. I did Olympic. It's expensive. Um, it's all about food. Food. <laughs> food. Stop eating it. Eat less. Don't stop eating it. Just eat less. Like, I don't fit. I. I've been wasting a lot of food. I will not lie. Um. It's all about how much you eat. That's it. You know, working out, yes, cardio, but then it boils down to the food. Eat less. I have the slim tea. It just makes me doo doo. Yeah, eat less. Eat literally one third of what you normally eat. Eat less. <laughs> I've been sick this week and I couldn't eat anything, and I literally, I'm under my weight. I want to be one, I'm like 150 is the weight that I, okay, so I started off in January at 180. When I was filming and everybody was saying that I look good, I was still 157, 150, and everybody was like, oh, wow, you look great. And then uh, when I was walking the runway last year, no, Brina, it's not lipo. I hate when y'all fucking dumb bitches say that, like, it's so annoying. You do not lose weight from lipo, like, 
you do not lose weight from lipo. <laughs> Lipo is removing a fat out of a section, but that doesn't lose the weight on your face. That's why a lot of bitches who get lipo and don't work out or lose weight on the rest of their body, they look like Donkey Kong because they're still fucking big shoulder, big arm, big fat ass face with a flat stomach because they only lipo their stomach. And who do, and who the fuck is about to go get lab work, make sure they're fucking good, take off for a fucking few months, fucking few weeks to get lipo. Shut up. I hate when y'all hoes say that. Like, shut up. You sound mad stupid. Um, <clears throat> lipo does not take away your face. It does not slim up your face, grow you a neck. Don't do none of that shit. Then lipo is painful. Lipo, out of all surgery, I would say lipo is the most painful surgery it's the most invasive because they're like filling you up and they're digging for the fat like lipo hurt like i'm not just because i want to fucking lose from, i'm not about to go down for lipo so when bitches be throwing around oh these people got money they just be going to get lipo when they gain weight no bitch that's no that's not a first option no <laughs> that's not something oh People, because they got money, they're just going to keep going to do is go get lipo. That's not a thing, bro. That's not a, that's not a thing. It's not a thing. Your dumb ass keeps saying it because you feel it makes you feel better by saying it. Like, it's not, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. <laughs> the fuck is not. Oh, I'm, I'm fat. I'm going to go get lipo. No, because lipo doesn't make your the rest of your body fucking lose weight. It doesn't. Doesn't now if you have like lipo on your back and you want to go get it removed or lipo on your front like like you go do get it one time but that's not something you keep going to fucking get do like it's not it's it's painful. Um, yeah. So shut up. I hate when people do that. Stop fucking eating. That's how you're gonna lose weight. Stop fucking eating. <laughs> you a fucking hater because I lost thirty pounds. You the only one hating. Don't even fucking see that your mother lost thirty pounds. Yes, I did. I just ate a little bit of your bowl. I didn't even eat a whole bowl of my own. Normally, y'all dead ass saw that, right? I normally eat a whole bowl to myself. I didn't eat a whole bowl. I got a little bit out of his bowl and ate that, and I'm fucking good. Use a hater. Use a fucking hater, Javon. You ate that bowl. <laughs> He's such a hater. Um, no. <laughs> Do I watch baddies? No, I see it when it comes down my timeline. But um, I don't watch it. It's a lot of drama. <laughs> when, I, when I was younger, like the original Bad Girls Club, I used to watch that shit when I was in my 20s. I used to love that shit. I wanted to be on that shit. But I'm older now. I, that, that shit distresses me out. <laughs> I'm like, what are we fighting about? <laughs> What's going on? Why are we fighting? <laughs> It's okay, Julie. You don't always have to pay attention to the negative things people say. You know? Pay attention to the positive things people say. Because what I realize is, like, oh, there's people who type negative shit. They're just like looking. Looking. They're looking for something. They're looking for a reaction. And it's so weird. You can get a reaction from me by saying some nice stuff. It doesn't have to be fucking, you know, rude stuff. I mean, am I Vietnamese for fake? <laughs> if I'm not Vietnamese for real, am I Vietnamese for fake? <laughs> where are we going with this? Where are we, where are we going with this? Oh my God, I'm so tired. <sighs> I just slapped on some eyelashes today because I was like, ah, I've been I've been tired all week. I mean, you can hear it in my voice, right? <sighs> You just been, been, you just be saying anything out your mouth. <laughs> Fuck. You just be saying anything out your mouth. You're annoying. I want to block you. Comment again. Y'all talking about Greg annoying. But Greg ain't even annoying the other person. The one that said lipo and then said I look like the cops is annoying. I want to block her. Comment something. Y'all keep saying block Greg. I don't even want to block Greg. I want to block somebody else. Fatty back soup. You look good, sugar. Thank you. Thank you for the four ninety nine, sugar. You're so sweet. <laughs> No, Greg, I'm not Vietnamese for real. I'm Vietnamese for fake. 
Jessica's in uh, Japan. She went on a trip for her birthday with her boyfriend. I am 33. LP, you look fantastico. Gracias. Yeah, y'all should go to bed. It's late. It's 10 o'clock over here. So East Coast, I'm pretty sure it's like 1 o'clock. How do you say beautiful in Vietnamese? Dep. Dep guy. M. Like, M is a girl. Younger girl. M. Dep guy. <clears throat> I live in California. What do I think about fentanyl issues? Um, that's wow. Why do you want to kill people? Like, why is that the only option to fucking put in your drugs to stretch it out? Like, the shit, wow. Um, what else? All right, I think I'm done. Purchase my knives, and don't forget the if you're from the if you're from the Riverside, i.e., if you're from the um, uh, Inland Empire, make sure you guys come to the meet and greet October first, Sunday, October first at four p.m. at Romance Boutique on Indiana Avenue. The first 50 people that get there will get free goodie bags. Um, we're going to have drinks, food, ice cream. Um, might have a little Faha fashion show. You can purchase my knives for $50. Take pictures with me. Get posted on my Instagram story. It's going to be lots and lots of lots of fun. Um, if you do come, you can wear anything. But I think I want to wear pink. <gasps> we should like all wear pink. We should all wear pink. How about that? We can make it like Barbie. Because it's Barbie, bitch. You can join the wave. Vanden Penny, nickel, dime, that and coin the phrase. You couldn't beat me there if you had a lair. Indian style court side with the cavalier. VIP bro says you can have a bear. Because honey, when you're getting money, you don't have a girl. <sighs> now roger that. Oh, everything's getting blurry. I'm rubbing my eyes. It's making me get blurry. Okay, I'm leaving. I love you guys. Um, if you haven't purchased my knife, make sure you purchase my knives at lovelymimi.com. I would love the support. Um, I'm not a type of person that has inventory all the time. So when I sell out, that's it. Because last time I sold out, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> That was it. It took me like four years to come back out with some more knives. So if y'all want to purchase my knives at lovelymimi.com, it's not a forever inventory. You better get it while I have it because once it's out, it's out. You go to lovelymimi.com on your safari or whatever, and then you can purchase my knives from there. If you are international, if you are from um the uk australia canada if you're from any of those area make sure you send an email to lovely mimi bookings b-o-o-k-i-n-g-s lovely mimi bookings with an s at gmail.com so you, if you are international shipping you want internet you want me to send it out internationally you have to um send jessica an email at lovely mimi bookings um and you get a link for international shipping Thanks. <laughs> but if you are in an IE, make sure you lock in a date. And you don't have to be an IE. If you want to fucking fly out here for the event, for the meet and greet, I know a lot of people are flying out here. If you want to fucking drive here, however the hell you want to get here, bitch, come, come. We're going to have so much fun. Love you guys. I'm going to take my ass to bed now. I'm tired. Well, I'm not going to go to sleep, but I'm going to go upstairs and my kitchen's clean and everything. So, All right, type your name if you want me to say goodnight to you. <clears throat> type your name if you want me to say good night it's good night time you know how we do good night kai good night anubis good night jasmine good night shake good night ashley good night sabrina good night terry um good night carol good night marcia good night night dream night t good night nicole good night gloria good night yishabella jasmine jamini stephanie hermini veronica Good night, Willy Wonka. <laughs> Good night, Chris Sales. Good night, Tyree. Good night, July. Good night, Deborah. Good night, Annie. Good night, Alexis, Christina. 
Catrice, Monique, Samantha. Good night, Evan. Good night, Tam. Good night, Nisi. Good night, Ivan. Good night, Zoe. Good night, Mia. Good night, Sarah. Have a great night, Samantha. Gendy. All right, yeah. Sweet dreams. Make sure you pray tonight. And God bless you. And I love you.